Well, I think one of the things I really love, I personally really love about you as a performer and an artist, and I assume what, you know, many others probably do too, is that your sort of image or I guess your brand, right? You sort of built that on not really having one. You built that on more authenticity and vulnerability, which I think is so beautiful. Um, why was that so important to you, uh, you know, stepping into the industry and, and having you represented in that way? Um, because I, I think it was just, I don't know, because when I first started, like I remember having conversations with my manager about, you know, who I wanted to be as an artist and who I didn't want to be. And we would always say to each other, like, what if, wouldn't it be cool to just make it as yourself? Like, wouldn't that be awesome to just not have to be anyone other than you, you know, and like not have to hang up like someone else's hat when you go to bed and put the hat back on when you're at work. Like, wouldn't it just be great to make it as yourself, as who you are, you know? And it just, it felt like such a foreign concept because, and even now, like, even though, like you said, I don't have a brand, like people just made that my brand. I feel like when you're an artist in the public eye, people like in order for people to compute you, like they have to put you somewhere and, I just, I just didn't want to have to fake anything. I didn't want to have to be tied to um, a certain place in my life because, you know, I, I had the knowledge of, of understanding that people change, you know, and I didn't want to be something. And then when you, when I would change, people would get mad about that. And, you know, I just wanted to be who I am in the moment. And I didn't want to have to like fake it all the time, you know, cause I, I've talked to other artists who, you know, have maybe, you know, have to look a certain way or feel the need to be something else and they always talk about how tiring it is and I'm like I would never want to do that like I just want to wear what I want and and talk how I want and and write about what I want to write about you know and not have to stay in a lane I think for me it was just about having control and staying sane because for me the la the other thing would would not make me feel very good I don't know I, I'm sure there, there are people who love it there are people who love having that split and that divide I remember even like watching an Ariana Grande interview and her saying like that she actually enjoys having the ponytail thing and the the Ariana Grande thing because when she's not that you know there's that separation where she's able to feel safer and I totally get mm -hmm. that but you know I'm not at that level where I I need that and I, I think I've just been lucky enough to have the career where I just have my own space and privacy and for me, I just feel more sane when I don't have to be anybody else, you know? Right. So, yeah. No, I love that. 